Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Music and this is my buyer's guide for the Kawai ES8 portable piano. I hope that this video will give you all the information you need to make sure you're making the right decision when you're purchasing a new instrument. When choosing a digital piano, I would always recommend that you actually get your hands on and try various models from different manufacturers. You can do this in our really well stocked piano stores. We have one in Rygate in Surrey, which is just uh, two miles off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway. And we also have one on the south coast in Eastbourne in East Sussex. So the ES8 is a portable instrument and what that means is it's completely self-contained and it's designed for those people who want to carry a piano around with them to various venues. So it weighs 22 and a half kilograms and it's available just as a keyboard unit on its own or as I have it here for when you're using it at home you can buy a nice wooden stand and a matching triple pedal unit as well to complement it and make it look nice in your home. So the ES8 gives you three main piano sounds and there are variations on each of these sounds but there are three core piano sounds. Now there is the sound of the Shigeru Kawai Concert Grand, there's the Kawai EX Concert Grand and there is the Kawai or Shigeru Kawai SK5 uh, Studio Grand which is a slightly smaller grand piano than the other two sounds. So let's just take a listen to the tone of the three different piano sounds, starting with the Shigeru Kawai Concert Grand. And now let's have a listen to the Kawai Concert EX Grand Piano. And finally, let's just take a quick listen to the tone of the Shigeru Kawai SK5. So as you could hear, three very, very high quality piano sounds and they're all suited to different styles of music and different styles of piano playing. But what makes a good digital piano, in my opinion, is not just the sound, but it's actually the feel of the keyboard as well. Now, the ES8 uses Kawai's responsive hammer action and it's a plastic keyboard action, but it feels very nice to play. Um, it's got a very definite feel about it. You've got a lot of control over your expressiveness um, and it, it's just all round a very nice playing experience. So the 
combination of a really good keyboard mixed with very high quality piano sounds does make the ES8 a very appealing instrument. The ES8 is equipped with a huge variety of different voices, lots of really good keyboard orientated sounds and a feature that I feel is really overlooked with the ES8 is the power of the additional effects that can be applied to the different voices. So here I'm just playing one of the uh, Fender Rhodes type piano sounds and now I'm going to apply different effects to the sound such as tremolo or chorus or auto panning um, or phasing um, to give you some of those real classic 70s and 80s keyboard sounds. In addition to the effects that can be applied to the sounds, there is also an amp simulator. And what an amp simulator does is uh, reproduce the sound of the keyboard being plugged into the a sound of a classic amplifier from the 70s or 80s. So you can use the amp simulator to give the sound a bit of warmth or perhaps add a little bit of distortion to the sound. So let's just take a listen to the electric piano sounds with the amp simulator applied as well. Another sound that has become very popular in modern music is the sound of the classic 60s Hammond drawbar organ. Now the ES8 has a really good Hammond organ sound built into it, but it's further enhanced with the rotary speaker simulator. And that's the sound of the speaker that people used to plug their Hammond organs into, this big wooden box which had a speaker in it, or two speakers in it, that used to spin round and gave you that kind of tremolo effect. Um, but that's what created that classic sound. Um, and the, uh, the speed of the speaker, speeding up and slowing down, can be controlled uh, using uh, a foot switch and when you have the triple pedal unit attached like I have here um, it automatically assigns a soft pedal to the rotary slow and fast setting. Just, just, just take a listen to this sound. The ES8 also has two very convincing classical organ sounds which make it ideal for small choir practices or just for fun practicing your favourite hymns at home. So there are many other voices found in the ES8, including uh, orchestral strings, choir voices, synthesizer voices, there are some bass sounds, um, and all of these sounds can either be layered on top of each other, so you can actually select two sounds together and layer them on top of each other across the whole keyboard so that every note is actually playing two sounds, or you can split the keyboard in two and have one sound at the top of the keyboard and one at the bottom keyboard. So I'm going to demonstrate these features now. So first of all, using the layer feature. So I'm going to select a piano voice and a string voice, put the two together and they're layered across the whole keyboard. And the, and the strings kind of give an orchestral accompaniment or backing to my piano playing.
Another popular combination of layered voices is the harpsichord with the orchestral strings and this kind of gives you a baroque type feel so uh, great for playing some classical tunes such as Mozart. And in this next example, I'm going to take an acoustic piano sound, place it on the right hand side of the keyboard, and I'm going to choose an acoustic bass voice. And this voice actually has a ride symbol on every note as well. I'm going to put that in the left hand. I have the split keyboard mode. And I'm just going to play a little jazzy piece of music. Now, those of you who are watching from the UK may well recognize this from a popular advert uh, for cigars from the 1980s and early 90s. Another performance feature that I'd like to draw your attention to on the ES8 is the rhythm function. Now the ES8 has got a built-in metronome which just tick tocks as a normal metronome would do but it also has um, a drum section built in as well so it allows you to play along with some preset rhythms and there's quite a good, a good selection of rhythms in here and the rhythm section works in three modes so you can have just drums or you could have drums and bass. Now, when you have the bass uh, playing as well, what it does is it tracks the bass line based on your lowest note or the chord that you're playing. Um, so it will give you an automatic bass line to play along with uh, whichever sound you're playing and the drums. And then the third mode, it brings in um, an accompaniment section as well. So maybe some other instruments uh, such as guitar or strings or maybe the brass section. Um, so what I've done here is I've just recorded the same piece of music just using four or five basic chords. Uh, first of all with the drums on their own, then I switch it into drums and bass modes, so you'll hear the bass line come in as well, and then finally you'll hear it when the guitar and a few other instruments come in as well. So this is a good fun uh, addition to the ES8 and it makes practicing more interesting, uh, but also I think it can be quite creative as well, so have a listen to this. ES8 has a built-in recording feature and it's a two-track recorder or two-part recorder and what that means is that you can either record your left hand and your right hand individually or perhaps you want to uh, record one sound and then layer another sound over the top independently so you can do that as well so it's two completely unique uh, recording tracks and then your song can be exported onto a USB stick uh, which you just plug in the end of the keyboard and then you can share that file with your friends and family or upload it to the internet or whatever you want to do with it. There's another handy feature on the ES8 which is called registration and what that does is allow you to set the keyboard up how you want so perhaps you're going to layer two voices together and you're going to add some additional effects to the voices and all of that information you can store as what is known as a registration and there are a number of locations for you to store your own sound so it's a, it's a bit like setting the keyboard up to how you want it to be and then storing that setup and it means that you can recall that instantly so especially if you're going to be playing in front of people you can have all your favorite sounds already stored just press one button and it will recall them instantly 
So now let's just take a look at the rear panel of the ES8 and this is where I'm just going to explain some of the inputs and outputs that are available to you. So here we are looking at the rear panel of the ES8. On the left hand side here we have a line input that's for a mini jack type input so perhaps you would plug in an mp3 player or your mobile phone and that routes the audio from an external device through the internal speakers of the ES8. As we move along, the next two sockets we have are your line output sockets. These are standard quarter inch jack plugs and you just plug those in and that's to go to external amplification. I'm just going to remove those again and so that you can see on the right here there's a little switch, speaker switch, and this turns on and off the speakers inside the ES8. So Certainly if you've got something plugged into the line outputs, you may not want the speakers to still be active, so you can switch them on and off independently. Next to this you have the two sockets. The first one is where you'll plug the sustain pedal, and the ES8 is supplied with uh, Kawhi's really substantial F10H uh, sustain pedal. You can plug in a second pedal for soft or um, other assignable functions which you can assign within the operating system of the ES8. We have traditional 5 pin DIN MIDI in and out and there is, an all, there is also a USB computer connection which will carry MIDI data direct to your computer without needing to use a MIDI interface. Here we have the mains input socket. Finally, we have a quarter inch jack headphone socket on the bottom left hand side of the front panel. So that brings me to the end of my Kawaii ES8 buyer's guide. I do hope you'll agree that this is a really good all rounder instrument. Um, it's got a good piano sound, really nice keyboard feel, and I like the additional features such as the registration feature and the ability to apply lots of different effects to the sound. It means you can be very creative and you can make the ES8 sound a little bit more individual to you. Um, you can try the ES8 in one of our stores located in Rygate or Eastbourne, um, or if you'd like to talk about digital pianos, then just give us a call. You'll find our contact information in the description to this movie. Um, I've also made another video where I compare the ES8 to other products which are of a similar price range or aimed at a similar market. So if you're looking at an ES8, I would suggest that you perhaps also look at the Yamaha P515 or the Roland FP90. And you'll find a comparison video that I've made uh, which pitch all of these three products against each other in uh, one of the links which you'll find underneath this movie. So thanks very much for watching and please do check out my other videos and if you have any questions about portable pianos then please get in touch. See you soon.